Attention. In a moment we would like to forget, Danny caught her heel on the mic cord and snapped it in two. The following video is a result of a quick fix that may or may not have worked. Honestly, it didn't work, and we considered bailing on the video altogether. However, the recipe is so dang good, we had to share. Crap audio and all. Please try to enjoy the video, because we know you'll enjoy the meatballs. Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, this weekend is Super Bowl, and in my house, that means there's got to be some form of buffalo something or other cooking up in the kitchen. Now, in the past, I've showed you guys how to make baked buffalo wings, buffalo chicken lettuce cups, buffalo cauliflower bites, buffalo chicken chili, and so today I'm gonna to show you how to make my clean and delicious blue cheese stuffed crock pot buffalo chicken meatballs. So in all fairness, these meatballs do have to go into the oven for 10 minutes before they go into the crock pot, but once they go in the crock pot, we get to enjoy that whole fix it and forget about it aspect of crock pot cooking. But first, I'm gonna preheat my oven at 400 degrees and I've also set up a rimmed baking sheet with a Silpet mat for my meatballs. Then over here in my bowl, I have one pound of lean white meat ground chicken. And to that, I'm gonna add one egg, three tablespoons of whole wheat panko breadcrumbs. Now, if you can't find the whole wheat, you could use the regular panko or just go with a good old Italian classic breadcrumb. That would totally work. Two tablespoons of finely diced onion, half a teaspoon of onion powder, two cloves of crushed garlic, a quarter cup of finely diced parsley. And if you don't have fresh parsley, you could just sub in one tablespoon of dried parsley. And then one tablespoon of your favorite hot wing sauce, whatever that might be. Then I have a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just gonna get my hands in here, mix it all together just until the ingredients have come together. So once you have everything mixed together, you're gonna notice that this mixture is very sticky. So the key to rolling the meatballs without having them stick all over your hands is to keep your hands wet. So I like to keep a little bit of cold water right next to me. I just dip my hands in there, and then that's gonna help keep the meat from sticking to my hands. I also want to point out that I have two ounces of blue cheese here ready to go. And for each little meatball, I'm gonna pinch off a little piece of that blue cheese and shove it into the center of the meatball. So let me show you how this goes. Grab a good hearty tablespoon of the meat mixture, put it into the palm of my hand, place my other palm on top and start rolling. And before you know it, you have this little ball. Then I pinch a piece of my blue cheese off, not that much, and then just shove it into the center, pinch the outside of the meatball back together, give it another roll, and this guy is ready to go. I'm gonna keep on going until I've finished all of this mixture and my goal is to get 24 meatballs. Now, FYI, whenever I'm making these at home, I usually opt for the extra lean white meat ground turkey. However, it does tend to be a little bit on the dry side, which honestly doesn't bother me one bit. I really like it, but I know a lot of people don't. They want a little bit more moisture, a little bit more fat in their meatballs. And to that I say, go for it, right? The key guys, if you really want to have sustainable health or weight loss, you need to be eating foods that you enjoy. So if you want a little more fat in your meatball, have a little more fat in your meatball, and then you can always balance it out somewhere else throughout the day. From here, I'll go into the oven for 10 minutes, then I will carefully transfer them into my crock pot, cover them with three quarter cup of that hot wing sauce, pop on the lid and cook on low for two hours. Now, the beauty of this recipe is once those two hours are up, you can just turn the crock pot to low and let them sit in there until you are ready to serve them. So if you were having a party or some friends over, you can make them, fix them and forget about them and keep them nice and warm until you're ready to eat them. Mm, mm, mm. I love anything buffalo, but this has so much flavor, and then with that little burst of blue cheese in the middle, you guys have got to try this one, and when you do, don't forget to snap a picture and then tag me on Instagram and on Facebook so I can see all of the deliciousness you're cooking up in your very own kitchens. 
And don't forget, if you want to print this recipe, head on over to cleananddelicious.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you soon with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Hey guys, it's Danny <clears throat> from the top. Cheer right. Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, Buffalo. Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, I am a little bit frazzled. Let's... Hey guys. Hey guys.